Ciao guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today's video is a special one because lately I have been teaching you a little thing or two in Italian. I've taught you some basic words and some phrases for travels. Today I am going to go in theme of this upcoming Valentine's Day and I'm going to be teaching you some romantic words and even sayings or phrases in Italian. And of course, I hope that you do use these words on that special someone if you would like to sort of woo them in Italian as we know Italian is probably one of the most romantic languages in the world. So without further ado, let's learn some Italian romantic words and phrases in theme for Valentine's Day. So I wrote down a list here of some of the words that I think are pretty romantic and I also wrote down ways in which you can use them in a little phrase or so in basically in how you can speak to your loved one. Let's start with the words first and then we will work out how to use them. Amore. Amore in Italian is love. Amore. Now, we can use a lot of these words in phrases such as amore mio, that means my love, or sei il mio amore, you are my love. So amore, amore mio, sei il mio amore, love, my love, you are my love, basically. So that is just a really cute way of saying love in Italian. You'll often hear people calling each other amore because rather than saying babe or baby as we tend to do in English, a lot of Italians will say amore and they'll even shorten it to amo. <laughs> Next, another common word that is used to describe somebody you love is by calling them tesoro. Tesoro in Italian basically means treasure or even darling, but it, it literally translates to treasure. Tesoro. So again, tesoro mio or sei il mio tesoro. You are my treasure. That is so romantic and really cute and you'll often hear people calling each other tesoro as well in Italian. Tesoro is the same masculine and feminine. Same with amore. You can refer to a man or a woman as tesoro, as amore, or next up as cuore. Cuore in Italian is heart. So the same thing applies. Sei il mio cuore. Cuore mio. Cuore is heart. Cuore. Heart. Tesoro. Treasure. Amore. Love. Because amore, tesoro, and cuore are masculine, you would say sei il mio amore. Sei il mio tesoro. Sei il mio cuore. These next few words I'm going to be teaching you are feminine words. You can use them for a man or a woman, but more commonly you would really refer to a woman as a star, so you would say Stella. Stella is star. Stella mia instead of Stella mio. It is not masculine, it is feminine, so you would say Stella mia. Sei la mia Stella. Sei la mia Stella is you are my star, and that is a really sweet thing to say. Next. Anima. Anima means soul. You can tell someone, sei la mia anima, you are my soul, or anima mia, basically my soul. It's a really romantic way of saying soul, anima. What is really cute about the word anima, soul, is then how you would say soulmate. So if you would like to call someone a soulmate or refer to someone as a soulmate, you would say anima gemella. Gemella literally means twin, so anima gemella basically means soul twin, but that is how Italians refer to as a soulmate. Anima gemella. Sei la mia anima gemella. You are my soulmate. Sei la mia anima gemella. You are my soulmate. So anima is soul, gemella is twin. Sei la mia anima gemella. You're my twin soul, basically. Another thing you'll often hear people saying is, Vita. Vita is life, but you'll often hear this in combination with vita mia. Basically, you are my life. Sei la mia vita. You are my life. Sei la mia vita. Vita means life. And you'll often hear it in combination with that sort of phrasing. Sei la mia vita or vita mia. It is, I think, also important to learn how to say boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, things like that. So let's start with Let's start with girlfriend. So if you would like to refer to someone as your girlfriend in Italian, what you would say is 
La mia ragazza. La mia ragazza. Ragazza is a young way of basically saying girlfriend, so la mia ragazza is my girlfriend. Ragazza is girlfriend, and so ragazzo would be boyfriend. Ragazzo, boyfriend. You would say il mio ragazzo, because this is a masculine word, so we are going to use il mio for ragazzo, la mia for ragazza. La mia ragazza, my girlfriend, il mio ragazzo, my boyfriend. If you are a little bit more serious because boyfriend and girlfriend is of course for a newer love or a younger love, you can then say fiance. You would basically refer to them as fidanzato. So mio fidanzato is basically a serious way of saying my boyfriend or who I will marry essentially. It is a more serious way of saying boyfriend. Mio fidanzato. Il mio fidanzato, my boyfriend. My girlfriend in the serious way or fiance is la mia fidanzata, mia fidanzata. Fidanzata is girlfriend, fidanzato is boyfriend in the serious way or in the fiance type way. So fidanzato is masculine again just like ragazzo, so you would say mio ragazzo, mio fidanzato, mia ragazza, mia fidanzata. And lastly, husband and wife is marito, the masculine way, my husband, il mio marito. Mio marito, my husband. Marito, husband. Say il mio marito, you are my husband. Moglie is wife. Moglie. Mia moglie. La mia moglie. Say la mia moglie, you are my wife. Moglie is wife. Marito, husband. Marito e moglie, husband and wife. It is basically impossible to know all of the romantic words and terms in Italian because not only is the Italian language so romantic, but Italian people are very romantic. And you can almost cutify or romanticize most words in Italian. So I'm just trying to teach you the most basic, most romantic words. But on top of that, I'm also going to be teaching you how to compliment someone essentially, how to tell someone they're cute, beautiful, or handsome. So let's just learn some of those words as well. Let's start with cute. Cute is carino. Carino is masculine. If you want to tell a woman she's cute, you would say carina. Say carino, say carina. You're cute, basically. Masculine, say carino. You would tell a man, say carina. You would tell a woman. If you want to tell someone they're beautiful or handsome, you would say bello. Bello for a man, say bello. For a woman, bella. Bella. Bello. Bella. That is basically saying beautiful or handsome. Beautiful for a woman, bella. Beautiful for a man, handsome for a man, really. It would be bello. So bello, bella. Beautiful or handsome. If you want to go even further and go beyond just beautiful, if you want to be even more so complimentary, you would say, sei bellissima. Say bellissima, or you would just use the term bellissima. Bellissima is like really beautiful or gorgeous. Bellissima. So for the masculine, it would be bellissimo. Say bellissimo. You're very attractive, essentially. How you would tell someone that they are sweet is you would say dolce. My name on YouTube and Instagram is La Dolce Lisa. It's a play on La Dolce Vita, the sweet life, the good life. Dolce literally means sweet. But to tell someone that they are sweet, masculine or feminine is always dolce, say dolce. Now with these words, if you would like to really emphasize the point, basically to say you're very handsome, you're very beautiful, you would say molto. So you would use the term molto bello, molto dolce. And before that you would say sei. Sei basically means you are. So sei, molto, you are very, and then you could replace it with the word of your choice. So you could say sei molto bello, you're very handsome. Sei molto carino, you're very cute. So that is also another way to extend the compliment. So now that we have some common romantic words and complimentary words and we even know about boyfriend and girlfriend, last but not least on what I would like to teach you in this romantic edition of learning Italian is basically phrases or how to use certain romantic phrases. So what is most important in Italian? Basically, it's saying I love you. So how would you tell someone you love them? We know that love is 
amore, but this is different. This is literally telling someone, I love you. You would say, ti amo. Ti amo means I love you. Ti amo. Ti amo is the very romantic way of telling someone you love them. This is not a familial love, this is a romantic love. Ti amo. Ti amo. Amore mio ti amo. My love, I love you. So ti amo is very romantic in Italian because we are so affectionate and loving. There's also a friendly way or even a familial way to tell someone you love them and that would be ti voglio bene. Ti voglio bene is essentially how you tell someone you want the best for them, but it is in a loving way. Ti voglio bene. Ti voglio bene. I love you in a friendly way. I want the best for you. Ti voglio bene. You'll often see this abbreviation TVB. That just means ti voglio bene or TVTB. Ti voglio tanto bene. It's quite common in Italian to use this term as an affectionate way of telling someone you really care for them. You can also tell someone if it's not quite love and if it's not quite you know, the friendly kind of love, but you're getting there. A cute way of saying that in English as well is I adore you, and how you'd say that in Italian is ti adoro, ti adoro, I adore you, ti adoro, I adore you. If you would like to use any of these phrases and tell someone forever, forever in and of itself is quite romantic, you would say per sempre. Ti amo per sempre. I love you forever. Per sempre literally means forever. Sempre. Forever. For always. Ti amo. <laughs> if you would like to say a lot in Italian, you would say tanto. So you could say ti voglio tanto bene. Ti amo tanto. Ti adoro tanto. I really love you. I really adore you. I really want the best for you. If you would like to tell someone that you're crazy for them, so you know, you're with someone and you're crazy for them, maybe it's not quite love, but you're just crazy for somebody, you would say, pazza di te, sono pazza di te, I'm crazy for you. Or if you're a man, you would say, pazzo di te, I'm crazy for you. Sono pazzo di te, I'm crazy for you. Pazzo is crazy or pazza, crazy, di te, for you. To say I miss you is literally mi manchi. Basically, I miss you. Mi manchi. You would usually say this if you're not with somebody, you're over the phone or you're far away from each other. Mi manchi, I miss you. If you are with someone and you want a kiss this Valentine's Day, you could tell them, dammi un bacio. Bacio means kiss. So in Italian, there's even the little chocolate baci. Those literally mean kisses. So if you want a kiss, you would say, dammi un bacio. Bacio is kiss. Kisses is baci, so dammi un bacio. And if you're really getting super romantic this Valentine's Day, you could ask someone to marry you. <laughs> if you would like to ask someone, will you marry me? You would have to say, mi vuoi sposare. Mi vuoi sposare. Will you marry me? Mi vuoi sposare? Question mark. Mi vuoi sposare. Sposare is to marry someone. And last but not least, a cute way of saying love at first sight in Italian is basically saying colpo di fulmine. Colpo di fulmine is sort of like a lightning strike. When you basically have been hit with love at first sight and just this person has completely taken over, it is basically colpo di fulmine, just love at first sight, a lightning strike. Fulmine is like lightning, so colpo di fulmine is how you would really tell someone that, wow, it's colpo di fulmine, I'm, I'm struck by this person. So guys, the last word to learn this Valentine's Day is basically how to say happy Valentine's Day in Italian, and that would be Bon San Valentino. Saint Valentine in Italian is San Valentino. So to say happy Valentine's Day, they don't say Giorno di San Valentino. We don't care about the day, we care about the saint. So San Valentino, you would say Buon San Valentino. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Saint Valentine. Buon San Valentino. Amore mio. Happy Valentine's Day, my love. So that is how I would like to end the video. I think I taught you guys quite a few romantic words and sayings. Hopefully you really appreciated it and you can use this on your loved one this Valentine's Day. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and if you like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget 
to subscribe to my channel. Please leave me a comment down below. Also, if you have any suggestions for a future Italian video, I would love to hear from you guys. I'm having a lot of fun teaching you some fun Italian words and sayings, and I thought this was a really cute idea to do with Valentine's Day right around the corner. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Buon San Valentino. Ciao. Amore. Amore, as we know, means love, and I'm literally wearing it on my shirt. I'm sorry if this was covered. It was kind of the point to wear that, but there you go.